Welcome to the weight shift formula lesson. Most of you have had this question during your PPL exam, but this is a good review for you to have. So for this formula, you notice there's four different parts to this formula. And as long as you know three out of the four, you can solve for X. So for example, if you know the weight of the aircraft, if you know the distance the CAG has to move and the distance between the two arm locations that you're going to move, you can actually then solve for X. So that's what we'll do today. Let's take a look at this example first. The weight of the aircraft in this case is 18,000 pounds. CFG at the moment, we've noticed that the CFG is 1.3 inches to the aft of the aft limit. So, you know, in the aircraft, you have, imagine this is your aircraft, you have the, the forward limit and the aft limit. But this CFG right now is 1.3 inches aft of the aft limit. That means the aircraft is way too tail heavy and not safe. So what we want to do is we want to move that CFG forward to bring it within limits. You can also have the CFG forward of the forward limit. Even that's not safe. In that case, you would bring it back. But in this case, the CFG is aft of the aft limit. So the question is, how much weight do you have to bring forward in order to get the CFG within limits? So let's do that. So what's the weight of the cargo move? We don't know that. That's what we want to figure out. We label that X. What's the weight of the aircraft? It says 18,000 pounds. So I'm going to plug in 18,000 pounds equals to the distance the CFG moved. So in this case, it's 1.3 inches after the F limits, so about 1.3. And now What's the distance between the arm location? So the arm location is measured in inches. So we want to take the difference between the compartments that we're going to move it from. We're going to move it from compartment two, which is at 320 inches, to compartment one, because that's the next baggage compartment we have. And this is located 180 inches. So you take the difference. So I'll put it in a bracket, 320 minus 180. Now, if you cross multiply, we should get X equals 18,000 times 1.3 divided by 140 equals 23,400 divided by 140. So that brings us to the answer of 167.14 pounds. So 167.14 pounds. That's the minimum weight we need to move from the aft cargo compartment to the forward cargo compartment to now bring the CFG within limits. So we no longer have this 1.3 three CFG out of limits. It's going to be within the limits somewhere in here. 